Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And I'm now going to be answering 7 part A of the specimen paper for the Pure Mathematics people from the International A-Level Edexcel exam. And this question is about integration by parts. And they've told us to use integration by parts, okay, to show that e to the power of 2x times cosine of 2x with respect to x, when you integrate it, with respect to x, sorry, this is what you get. All right, where C is an arbitrary constant. Now, the traditional method of integration by parts, I've already shown you in the main video. This video was like a card that popped up, you know, as that video was playing to show you this method, which since I've made that video many years ago, I have preferred to use this method here. I've learned about this the DI method, which is actually the same, basically the same thing as integration by parts. It's completely acceptable to the examiners. Um, however, it's just a more user-friendly kind of format of laying out your work that's all that's all it is it's exactly the same thing as integration by parts except it's just more user friendly in laying out your steps okay so this is a, a kind of situation where you have to decide one of them you're going to basically differentiate and the other one you're going to integrate you have a product of two separate functions which don't have there's no function within a function there's no kind of substitution you can do um and it's like a type where you have two separate functions multiplied to, to each other. They're unrelated to each other, you know, in terms of, um, you know, trying to integrate them. So we use integration by parts. Now, one of them we're going to choose to differentiate. And the other one I'm going to choose to integrate. Now, normally we will look at the two functions and one of them, when you differentiate, it normally breaks down to something simpler. And we differentiate it until it becomes zero. And the other product we take that and we start integrating until we reach the same level and then we do the you know uh, integration by parts as as i've shown in other videos as well uh, then you just do the multiplication okay um now in this case if i choose e to the power of 2x as d if i differentiate it it doesn't become simpler it becomes 2e to the power of 2x if i differentiate again it becomes 4e to the power of 2x because when you differentiate e to the power of something it stays the same it doesn't change but then you have to multiply by the differential what's inside the function. So 2e to the power of 2x, then 4e to the power of 2x, and 8e to the power... It just gets more and more kind of complex, just a bigger multiple each time. So this will never get to zero. Similarly, if I take cosine of 2x and I differentiate it, if I differentiate cosine of 2x, I get minus 2 sine of 2x. If I differentiate again, I'm going to get minus 4 sine uh, cosine of 2x. And again, I'm going to get plus 8 sine of 2x. And so it's going to keep changing between sine, cosine, of, cosine of 2x, some multiple of cosine of 2x, and some multiple of um, sine of 2x. It's going to keep changing, uh, inter, kind of like um, interchanging between those two. So none of these will become zero when you differentiate it. None of these become zero when you differentiate. So the original method, okay, that we had of DI method, where one of them becomes zero, you differentiate it, that won't work here. Okay, that won't work. But there's a, a, a way of, or something that you have to look out for in the DI method when you have a situation like this, where you look for the question, I call it looking for the question and the answer. And you'll see what I mean when we go through it. So in this case, when it's like this, it really doesn't matter which one you choose for D and which one you choose for I. I'm going to show you that it works both ways. So I'm going to, first of all, let's just choose E to the power of 2x because it's written first as D. Okay, which means cosine of 2x is going to be I. Right now, I'm going to differentiate this, which gives me 2e to the power of 2x. And I'm going to integrate this. Now, when you integrate the cosine of a function, okay, it becomes minus sine of the same function. So minus sine of 2x. But then you have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's basically uh, using the, the, um, it's integration, so you divide by it. So you, to, to, to integrate a, a, a function, you integrate it in the way that it integrates. So first of all, cosine 2x, when you integrate it, becomes a minus, it becomes plus sine of 2x, sorry. Not minus, that's bad. That's, remember, when you differentiate sine x, you get cosine x. When you integrate cosine x, you get sine x. So you integrate cosine of 2x, you get plus sine of 2x. But then you have to divide by the differential what's inside the function, which gives you a half. All right? And then we're going to integrate this again. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to look for the question in the answer. Right now, I see a multiple of e to the power of 2x and a multiple of sine 2x. That's not the same as this. Okay, of course, we don't count the first line. 
Then we're going to differentiate this one again. That's going to give us 4 times e to the power of 2x. Now, when you integrate sine of 2x, you get negative cosine of 2x. But you have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function. So you divide a half by 2, which gives you a quarter. Now we see in the answer, we see the question. We see e to the power of 2x and cosine 2x there. If you, you know, those two are there in the answer. So they're the same as those two. So that's when you stop. That's when you stop. And then we do a very similar thing to what we did before. We always start with a plus, then minus, then plus. And we multiply these two together as normal. But it's very, very important here that you actually write the, the actual question down. Don't, don't just put, put equals because we're going to look for like terms in this, as you'll see in a minute. So you must write the question down in your steps. You must write this down in your steps because you'll be looking for what's called like terms. So I'm going to multiply this by this. So I have e to the power of 2x multiplied by a half sine of 2x. Then I've got minus, and I'll do the same thing this times this. All right, so it's going to be minus times, I'll just I'll just write it out and we'll see what the sign is. 2, to the power of two, two e to the power of 2x times minus a quarter cosine of 2x. Now, because... Um, we've stopped here now, and these two are at the same level, and we haven't got to zero. I mean, normally I'd multiply this by this, it's going to be zero. Now, what we're going to have here is something where, when we're going along the same level, we have to basically um, add, okay, add, because there's plus. Then I have to find the integral of these two multiplied, because they're on the same level. So I have 4e to the power of 2x times a minus a quarter cosine of 2x with respect to x. Okay, I multiply these together, but on this, if they're on the same level, you have to write integral. All right, so that is now going to give us our answer, and you'll see how it all pans out now. So this is, I have to keep writing this down, so e to the power of 2x cosine of 2x with respect to x is equal to, this is going to be a half e to the power of 2x times the sine of 2x, and that's going to be minus times minus, which is plus, 2 times a quarter, which is a half, and you're going to have e to the power of 2x times the cosine of 2x, and you're going to have here 4 times minus a quarter, which is minus 1, so it will become minus, because you're going to have a, a minus here, so the, the whole thing will be minus, the 4s will cancel out, so you have minus the integral of e to the power of 2x times cosine of 2x with respect to x. Now what you notice here, what should happen here is you realize that this is exactly the same as this. They're like terms, all right? And because they're like terms, you can do a little trick here. You can you can add e to the power of the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 2x to both sides. So I've got basically this. I'll write the step down so you don't get lost. So I've got e to the power of 2x cosine of 2x with respect to x plus another e to the power of x cosine of 2x with respect to x is equal to, and this is going to be, I can, I can write it as um, in this form now because they've factorized out the e to the power of 2x. So a half e to the power of 2x, and you've got sine x, sine 2x plus cosine 2x, okay? And I can, I can put the plus c now as well. All right, now those, uh, I mean, that's just integrated, uh, sorry, factorizing this. Now these two add up together to give you two of the, I have... I have one integral of e to the power of 2x cosine 2x dx plus another one of the same thing. So there's two of them now. So I have two times the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine of 2x with respect to x equals a half e to the power of 2x times sine of 2x plus cosine of 2x. Okay, I'll put the plus here at the end. Then we can divide both sides by 2. When we divide both sides by 2, we end up with e to the power of 2x cosine of 2x dx, which is what we have to find, is equal to a quarter e to the power of 2x times sine of 2x plus cosine of 2x. And now I'll just write the plus c at the end. That's exactly what we had to show. I'll just write it as under one big four fraction, no problem, to make it look the same. So this is e to the power of 2x times sine of 2x plus cosine of 2x and plus c. So that's how we can use the di method. It, I think it makes things a bit easier, all right? Um, 
some people might disagree, but I personally think that. And here we have our answer as we had to show. And you can use the DI method. There's no problem with you using it. It's very simple. You just differentiate what part you've decided to differentiate, integrate the part that you've decided to integrate, and then you multiply across and get your answer. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to do the same thing, okay, but using this the other way around. So we could have done it the other way around. We could have said, let's choose to differentiate cosine of 2x. And let's choose to integrate e to the power of 2x. So if you differentiate cosine to the to cosine of 2x, you get minus 2 sine of 2x. If you integrate e to the power of 2x, you get the same thing, but then you have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function, so you get half of e to the power of 2x. Again, we're looking for the question in the answer. We're looking for e to the power of 2x and cosine of 2x, which we're going to get in the next step. If we differentiate sine of 2x, you end up with cosine of 2x, So you'll but then you have to multiply by 2. So this will be minus 4 cosine of 2x. The sine won't change because sine minus sine, if you differentiate sine 2x, you're going to get, get positive cosine 2x. So the minus remains a minus. And here you have to integrate this. So you're going to have e to the power of 2x. And you're going to divide the half by another 2 that gives you a quarter. Now we see the question in the answer. As we're looking for, we look, we see e to the power of 2x times cosine 2x, because those will be multiplied. And then you apply exactly the same concept. So we write down the question, always, in this type of question, write down what the actual question was in our steps, so we can know exactly what to do. That's equal to, and remember, plus, minus, plus, okay? So we're going to have cosine 2x times, so we have cosine of 2x times a half, e to the power of 2x. These multiply. Then you have minus, and you have minus 2 sine of 2x times a quarter e to the power of 2x. And then these two are at the same level, so you're going to have plus the integral of, because in the same level you have to write integral of, minus 4 cosine 2x times a quarter e to the power of 2x dx. So now if we simplify this, we have the integral of e to the power of 2x times the cosine of 2x with respect to x equals, this is going to be a half e to the power of 2x cosine 2x. That's going to give you plus a quarter, minus and minus is plus, 2 divided by 4 quarter, e to the power of 2x, no, a half, sorry, 2 divided by 4 is a half, so that's a half, not a quarter, a half e to the power of 2x, times sine of 2x times the sine of 2x okay and you're going to have this is going to be minus four and a quarter cancel out the integral of e to the power of 2x times cosine 2x with respect to x so again we see we get the same situation where these are like terms okay these are like terms so i can add this to both sides, in which case I'll get 2 times the integral of e to the power of 2x times the cosine of 2x with respect to x equals, and I can take out this again, a half e to the power of 2x, and I've got cosine of 2x plus the sine of 2x, and then I can divide everything by 2. So the answer to our question, which was the integral of e to the power of 2x times cosine 2x with respect to x is going to give you a quarter e to the power of 2x times the cosine of 2x plus the sine of 2x, and we can put plus c. So that's exactly what we had to show. If we want to write it exactly as shown here, we can write this as under one fraction, uh, under four, well, it's under one fraction, but just write the four as, you know, over the whole thing. And yeah, you can write this as e to the power of 2x, and they have this the other way around. So there's no problem, we'll write it the other way around, it's the same thing. Okay, and we have plus c. So there's the answer to the question, and it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't matter which way you do it. I don't know which one you found easier. Um, but whichever way you find easier, find it's very, it's basically the same, same number of steps. But it doesn't matter which one you take as D, which one you take as I in these cases, where they keep switching between, you know, things which are equally as complex, just different multiples of each other. You always look for the question in the answer. So this type of situation is where you're looking for the question in the answer. If you, I hope you understand what I mean. When you see this on the same level, when you see these two things on the same level, again, it doesn't matter what's multiplying them, but you see them on the same level, you stop. And then you go 
down and down and then when you go across you multiply them together whatever sign is here so this is this is basically positive cosine 2x times a half of this then you have minus take away the product of those two then you add the integral of those two okay so whatever whatever's in this level you if it was this if there was a minus here at this level you take away the integral of those two multiplied together with respect to x so that's how you use this method the di method to solve this question i hope that was clear now other questions um i'm gonna have here um a playlist taking you back to the um paper that i was going through which is a specimen paper i'll have a um a link here taking you back to the question that we were we were answering which is seven part a okay from this paper i'll have also a link here taking you to all the questions where i have answered things using the di method so you can look at all the different types of examples and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.